All right, so let's use WinISD to uh, get our speaker information and uh, kind of design a box. All right, so I know I need to use uh, WinISD to design a box. So here's my crash course. And by crash course, I mean, I'm gonna crash and you're gonna watch and probably be amused. But uh, here's what I learned so far on how to use WinISD. To begin, I open up the WinISD program after I've downloaded it. Uh, links uh, will be in the description for everything that you guys need in the video here. And uh, we're gonna create a new box. Now, by default, my uh, SP Acoustics driver was not in here was not in the list. If you do need to add a new driver, you can do it one of two ways. You can click on the add new, go to parameters, and you can fill out all of this based on the manufacturer's spec sheet. Or alternatively, if you do a Google search for your speaker model number and look for loudspeaker database, you can scroll down uh, make sure you have the correct own version of uh, whatever speaker you're using if there's a couple of different options. Uh, scroll down and just download the WinISD file. Once you've got the file, uh, save that into your WinISD lookup location and then you've got all your speaker information so you can continue with that. So I've already done that. I've already saved it there. Uh, so now I can select my SB Acoustics speaker and click on next, normal. And this is a factor if your box should be vented or if it should be a closed box based on two of the parameters of the speaker. I can't remember them off the top of my head, but this program automatically just tells you if you should be vented or if it should be a ported box. And this one is a, sorry, a vented or a sealed box. This one here is showing up as vented. So we're gonna click on next because that is what I want. Now I notice there's two different options or there's multiple different options here that I would consider for a box, either the Quasi Butterworth or the Super Boom box. So we can take a look at both. I'll select the Butterworth, click on next, and we'll just call it uh, test and we'll create. And just like that, we've got a generic default box set up with our uh, curve and our box frequency of 26.93. Now this is based on the driver that we've picked. So this is just not a random number. This is based on the uh, Butterworth uh, box that we chose and also the parameters of the driver. One thing that you will have to take a look at is the vents and go to the transfer function magnitude and you want the rear air velocity here. And I think the number to avoid is 17. If you get to 17, you're gonna have port noise and we don't want that. And I'll just make this thing obscenely small so we can kind of see what that looks like. Here you can see it goes well past the graph. What this is really nice for is if you decide to make a square port, which uh, I'm going to be doing in this case, it'll be a one inch by whatever size the box is, let's say it's 12. You can quickly adjust this and this will respect the uh, vent length based on the tuning frequency of the port. So that's really beneficial. So you just kind of make this what you need it to be uh, for building the box and uh, the program will do the rest to make sure that uh, everything falls within the specs that you want. Now optionally, you could change the tuning frequency which would change the length of the vent. This is way out of my league. Maybe in the future I'll understand how this applies to different speaker box building, but as of right now, that's way out of my league. So I'm going to just stay with default of uh, 1.713 is what it came up with. And a frequency of uh, 26.93 is what it recommends for this driver. So that's what I'm gonna go with. The only thing I'm gonna do is figure out the vent based on the finished size of my box. And to do that, I'm gonna have to go to another program. Actually, it's a website and that's Subbox Pro. And then I'll plug the parameters that we just got out of WinISD uh, for box square footage. Here we go, 1.713 into here after we make a new speaker box and I can adjust from there. So very much a crash course on WinISD. Some of the other functions that I've been using is uh, the uh, cone excursion as well. 
So here you can see this is the maximum travel that my cone is supposed to have and this is kind of where we are. You do also want to take and probably see what the max wattages of your speaker is. This one is a 50 watt speaker. I do believe Sorry, this one is a 60 watt speaker. So we'll probably want to put in about 80% uh, of that. So 45, maybe 50 into uh, our Win ISD, into our signal. Let's just start with 50. And now we can very realistically see this thing under a heavy load, kind of where it's going to be. So this is clearly not working out for where the box is. So if we change that to a 40, it still is up there. Realistically, it won't be listening to it that loud anyway. 25, so 25, this is acceptable here at 40. And it goes down to about 23-ish or so. What we can also do then is we can go back to our rear port velocity and we're getting close to our 17, but we're underneath, so we should be okay with that for our port noise. Now, whether or not this is the right frequency for this box for maximum sound, that's not what I'm concerned about. I want maximum quality. So I'm going to go with the default values instead of monkey around too much on my first box later on when I understand this more and kind of figure out what that's all going to do. I will change that all around. So another thing I like about this program is you can quickly create a new project, go back to the same drive that we're using there and click on next. We're going to go vented and this time we're going to go with the super boom box. Click on next and S BBM super boom box, something like that. And now you can compare the test box with the super boom box. You can put in the same signal strength at 25 watts. And now if we're looking at the box and the curve, we can go ahead and compare kind of what that does to the box. Interestingly enough, the tuning frequency goes to 39 with the different box design. So that's also kind of cool. And you can compare any parameter that you want on here. So very beneficial. Uh, this is going to be the program that I'm going to use. The test box I'm going to make is going to be based on the uh, Quasi Butterworth. So that'll be the first box I'm going to build. And this will be the parameter that I'm going to use. And I'm going to put that into the speaker box program that uh, I showed you earlier there to kind of develop the box. If you want to see how that goes, uh, the link will be up on the side here as soon as that video is done.